your role as vice president in, uh, in charge of policy in Ukraine and your son's job in Ukraine, how is that not a conflict of interest? It's not a conflict of interest. There's been no indication of any conflict of interest from Ukraine or anywhere else. Period. I'm not going to. I'm not going to respond to that. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man, what he's doing that no president has ever done. No president. Well, the fact is, I was unaware of his investments until it occurred, and I've never discussed what my son's business with him because I didn't want any conflict. The mayor of Moscow's wife gave your son three and a half million dollars. What did he true. do to deserve it? That what did he do with Barista to of deserve one hundred and eighty three thousand dollars? This is the same garbage Rudy Giuliani, Trump's henchman. It's the last ditch effort in this desperate campaign to smear me and my family. And you know, and all and the vast majority of the intelligence people have come out and said there's no basis at all. As of November of 2022, 62% of likely U.S. voters approve of the House GOP's investigation into the Bidens. If we were living in a healthy republic bolstered by a fourth estate that held power to account, this would be a journalist's ticket to a Pulitzer Prize. But unfortunately, we don't. Instead, those same journalists are left-wing, Democrat voting, fiercely partisan, agenda-driven, or working for the government. And sometimes you gotta be an authoritarian propagandist like you're a character out of the book 1984 in order to win. It's different when they do it because they're doing it for good reasons. That's not hyperbole. I'm serious, not a joke. Not only did CNN and the rest of the CIA operation known as the US media purposely deceived the American public about Biden to sway an election and helped to censor online speech to that end. But now they're doubling down and they're treating any investigation of the Bidens as another terrorist act by white supremacist radical right wingers. Here we have Jake Tapper, a pathetic Democrat party stooge who mocked the Hunter Biden laptop story as quote right wing craziness just before the election. Kari, the, the right wing is going crazy with uh, all sorts of allegations uh, about Biden and his family family too disgusting to even repeat here. Uh, I mean, some of the ones I've seen from the president's son and the president, some of the president's supporters are, are just wildly unhinged. Wrong. You ain't never been right. Now Tapper's just continuing to do his job as a paid government liar for the Biden regime and is doing his best to discredit these investigations by simply deceiving the viewer. Their voters yeah, sent them here to hold Hunter yeah. Biden and Joe Biden accountable. You think that voters sent the Republican majority to the House of Representatives to hold Hunter Biden accountable? We got you. Un real. Notice Jake Tapper's sleight of hand right there. Congressman Rodney Davis said that the Republican voters wanted Joe Biden and Hunter Biden held accountable. Then deceptive Tapper responds, quote, they wanted Republicans to hold Hunter Biden accountable in a very dismissive, condescending tone. To hold Hunter Biden and Joe Biden accountable. You think that voters sent the Republican majority to the House of Representatives to hold Hunter Biden accountable? Gotcha, bitch! By the way, has Jake Fapper ever once complained about investigations into Trump or Republicans? <laughs> of course not! You think that voters sent the Republican majority to the House of Representatives to hold Hunter Biden accountable? In their districts, yeah. their very Republican districts, absolutely. But we won the majority by winning districts that were won by Democrats, that were won by Joe Biden. The congressman just explained to Tapper that not only did Republican voters want Biden held accountable and they voted for that, but they won in districts that were won previously by Democrats, meaning they weren't Trump people. But do you think Jake f***ing Tapper gives a damn or will even acknowledge that fact? Oh, like hell no! <laughs> yeah, um, Abby Phillip. I mean, maybe it's true that there are a lot of voters out there who are in these 11 districts uh, who think that the business of Congress is to investigate Hunter Biden. Um, <laughs> you serious? <laughs> nope. Instead, he continues to obfuscate and mislead by again stating that this is about Hunter Biden when it's about Joe Biden. Republicans were even quite clear that this was all about Joe Biden when they announced the investigation. This is an investigation of Joe Biden. 
the President of the United States and why he lied to the American people about his knowledge and participation in his family's international business schemes. You think that voters sent the Republican majority to the House of Representatives to hold Hunter Biden accountable? Uh, who think that the business of Congress is to investigate Hunter Biden. Um. <laughs> so what can be done? Well, one thing that you can do is not spend money on the companies that sponsor these lies. In this case, that's CarShield and Progressive. Don't spend your money on companies that hate you. We can also call out their lies like I'm doing here and just hope people listen. You can help me do that by hitting that like button, sharing this video, and leaving a comment to join the discussion. I appreciate all your support. Thanks a lot.